Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 20 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, before I continue on, I decided to do like 99 deaths off camera on purpose. And the reason why I did that was to unlock the pinking shears, where you have to die 100 times to get them to show up. I was playing as Judas just to make sure that it gets done a lot faster. And as a result, I've actually picked up some extra items in my collection just by going to the item rooms that were nearby. The items I picked up, I believe, were Mom's Pad. And what that does is it repels enemies whenever you use it. Well, I mean, who else would be repelled by that? Well, obviously. There's Distant Admiration, which works like Attack Fly, but is a little bit closer to you. I also picked up Monstro's Tooth. And when you use that, Monstro will actually drop down on an enemy to do heavy damage. The game kit I explained before, which Blue Baby obviously could not use at the time I picked it up. Money equals power. For every 10 cents you have in your inventory, you add an extra level of damage to your attacks. Mom's Life is a very good melee weapon, but you cannot shoot tears whenever you have it on. The Thin Odd Mushroom increases your firing rate, but lowers your damage. And uh, there was Ipecac, which works like the shots Pestilence uses, but they can also hurt you, and you have an infinite use, of course. Technology 2 fires a constant laser while your other eye just shoots the tears. And there's SMB Superfan, which gives you an all stats up, but lowers your speed. So with that, we'll actually play as Samson now. Maybe we'll find Pinking Shears on the first try, if we're lucky. Maybe it's in here. Nope, just bomb bag. Eh, it'll help. At least I'll have a steady stream of bombs heading my way. Oh man, that was a bad hit right off the bat. Man, if I keep this up, I'm gonna actually have to have my second death on camera. Remember, the first one was part of the Nine Deaths Challenge run, which didn't really end the run, technically. A missing page. Well, functions like Necronomicon, and I don't have Necronomicon unlocked yet. I still need to use the death card a couple more times to have it available. But for now, let's just focus on getting to Satan as Samson. And right now, it's off to a pretty rough start. I mean, it's too soon to decide that it's going to be a doomed run, but if it is, maybe I'll do another run if I die too early. Oh dear. That was a pretty bad setup right there. Okay, curse room is completely out of the question, but let me look this way. Now, let's just hope I can get lucky and find a soul heart or even an HP upgrade pretty soon. I don't know where I'm going to find the secret room, though. So for now, let's just focus... Oh, I'll get the pony! So this will be a good spacebar item to get immediately. Get a flying item. Which, of course, I have to have the spacebar item to fly. So it's not going to be a permanent flying item like Fate, Holy Grail, or Transcendence. Of course, I have to actually survive this boss battle in order to get the pony. Right now, I can only take two hits. And I don't have any of the targets dead. Each of them can be a very devastating threat, especially that horse. If the creep lingers for too long, that's a problem. Or the creep gets put in the worst possible positions. Which can also happen. I have to decide which I should put more priority on. And it's hard to decide. But they're both equally damning. This is going to be a very long ass fight. The Headless Horseman is an easy boss if you get it late. If you get it early, however, then it's just practically difficult up the ass. Finally, one is dead. Now I just gotta focus on the horse head. Horseman head. And we got a pony. I got a pony! And now let's look around to see if we can find some soul hearts or some money in here. Actually, the curse room can be worth it now if I can use the pony just to mitigate some damage. It'll only be half a red heart, but that's okay. It could be worse. 
I just really hope I don't get a health down pill that could kill me. If there actually is a pill in the curse room. Just imagine if that actually happens. If I die from health down or bad trip. Oh god. Okay, so I'll make it through. Of course, I have to bomb my way out, otherwise I'm gonna die. Make no mistake about it. So I'll have to use one of my bombs. Hoping that wouldn't be the case, but it is. So I'll grab some health back. I don't really think I'm gonna go to the shop. I mean, for only a seven cent item? I have to hope there'll be an item on sale, and I don't think there will. I'm better off just using this key to go to the next item room. And hope for a better item than what I got. Well, the bomb bag is okay if it paid out much sooner. And more often. Judgment could be a very good sell, too. But for now, I want to look for the item room. Because I don't really want to roll with a pony the rest of the way. Because, let's face it, it's only good as long as you have it. And I want that spacebar slot to be used for better things, like the nail. Remember, that the nail has been an item I've been having a lot of. And I can use it a bit more, especially for Samson. He's a guy that can definitely benefit for anything that can replenish soul hearts. Okay, I'm just gonna blow this up. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got a soul heart. Check the curse room. Is it good? Uh, it's a bit meh. I still need to look for the item room, though. Maybe I'll find some red hearts in here. Because I can use some getting back to fullness. Not that it's a word, but I'll take it. If I find a self-sacrifice room, I might consider using the pony's ability for invincibility and just go over the spikes. I just had to use the dash- oh -ho! That's what I was looking for! Wait, let's test this out first. Can I use the pony's dash to exploit the self-sacrifice room? If I can, that'll be great. And either way, I'm going to be rolling with the pinking shears. So let's try it out. Use it... here. Nope, it doesn't work. So let's pay out judgment. Come on, give me something good. Soul heart, that's super. Candle? <coughs> no, wait, I don't want the candle, because I want the pinking shears. Two of diamonds! Good, that just prolongs my stay here. Give me two of spades, please? Or even skeleton key? I don't think we're gonna drop skeleton key, though. Regular key is okay. The tarot card. That's the Empress. Let me use this one key on the shop. Maybe there'll be a 7 cent item. Nope, it's just the battery. I don't really think it stacks well with the pony. Maybe I can stack well with pinking shears, though. But I'd rather pay out judgment first. Since I'm here, I might as well. Come on. Give me something. You don't need that much money. Two bombs, thanks. There, an HP upgrade. That's just what I really need. Okay, now let's go back and get the pinking shears. I've had enough flying. Ah, what the hell? Let's just open this chest and I'm immediately regretting it. Alright, now let's try out the pinking shears on the boss. I'm going to miss the flying. But, to use up a spacebar item slot for that, it's not worth it. There are better flying items available. I kinda wish I say that and I get Transcendence right off the bat. That would have been a huge stroke of luck. Alright, so now I'm gonna pop Transcendence in. Here's how it works. Basically, now I'm the head. And the body is actually gonna run up to attack. Meanwhile, I have my body trying to rub up against the boss to do some heavy damage, and I can use my head to do damage the other way. So, we get HP and some damage, that's pretty good for Samson, and now we'll go on out to the next floor. In fact, I can also use pinking shears to go over certain gaps, if I wanted. 
that is if I so choose. I really hope this meat gives me a lot more damage needed to take out these greed heads. Those are not the guys you want to see in a dark alley. Or even the brightest alley for that matter. Solar powered alleys at night. Infrared lights. Don't want to see them at all, period. Go, give me a key and a bomb. That's super. Don't want to use my key yet, though. Let's wait till we see what's in the item room. If I get another key, that'll be even better. Then I can come back to that chest. Oh, I don't like what that guy did. These poop marchers released a bunch of eternal flies on me. Whoa. Oh, I'm probably gonna take a hit here. Wow, I actually didn't. I don't know how I managed to escape and... Oh! Damn it! I didn't escape that second hit! Wow! It was going so well, then the Eternal Fly got me in the worst possible way. That's a hit I should not have taken. If anything, I want that hit back. Well, dang it, I want them all back, but... Can't have it that way. I'll use a bomb here, see what this gives me. Fish head? Um, well, the blue flies could be more useful than missing page. I mean, what are the odds of missing page connecting when I want it to? Fish head has a much greater chance. Why do you keep giving me these rooms? I don't want these rooms. I don't want these guys here at all. Maybe if I just kill some of these eternal flies, it'll add to the damage I can use for the poop munchers. Give me some more open space to work with. These poop munchers are still alive! And I killed every eternal fly here. Come on. That's it. Odd mushroom? I don't know. Not these guys again! I mean, thankfully, it's just two of them. And not, like, three or four. That would be my greatest nightmare. It'd give me the worst possible room setup there is. Making it virtually impossible to dodge all their shots. Like, you can still dodge a couple, but that's pretty much as far as it gets. Okay, threat meter says Fat Fly should go first. Go get a third key. I don't really think it's worth checking out the poop, but who knows? I might find a one cent or a bomb, maybe even a key. I don't like this room. It's the spiders I had to get rid of first. Oh, give me another one to get rid of. Thanks. This makes it harder for this guy to live. Child's heart? I don't know. It might work better than Fish Head at this point. Because right now, all I got is one Soul Heart. And I can be brought down to Red Hearts rather quickly. Okay, there's the boss room. Should I just go in there now and just use Pinking Shears? Probably. Let's see what this pill is first. Bombs are key. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. Come on, pink, pinking shears. You know what to do. That's it. Now we'll do a lot more damage to peep this way. I mean, just as long as my torso doesn't go for the uh, eyes, which I don't think it's gonna do. I can probably just laser around. Hey, 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 hey! Don't go for the eyes. Go for the body. What the hell were you thinking? So right now I have flying for this room, which is another good use of pinking shears. Get a key, money, soul heart, bomb, tarot card, which is just the stars. Ah, let's use it. Infestation. So now I don't really need fish head, it's redundant. Three greed heads. I said I didn't want that setup. 
But at least this room is a little bit easier to manage, especially those greed heads come over here, this little hallway. That way I can just line them up. Come on! Don't be shy! Tears for everybody! How's that sound? Sounds great to me! Not so much for you guys. And that's telepills. So, get a free key and a bomb. That paid out. Now, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to look for the secret room. There seems to be two spots. Three spots, actually. Good thing I got it on the first try. Bob's Rotten Head! I think I would prefer the pinking shears over that. And I know I tell Bob's Rotten Head's usefulness quite a lot, but right now I just think pinking shears is going to be better. It'll have more versatility, even though it charges a lot slower. That's going to be one disadvantage of the uh, pinking shears, that it's going to take a while to charge. There's no real- Oh my god, I, I wanted to see that other pill! I just went over there and I just held down for too long. Big mistake on my part, but... Oh well, all will be forgiven. I mean, it's not like God's gonna be looking at this in the pearly gates. So, oh my god, you just skipped a bunch- a pill and a tarot card? That's it, to hell with you! I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, the fact that I'm playing the Binding of Isaac is not very holy in its own right. But we get an HP upgrade, that's actually very good. Come on. Don't be shy. What is that with people being so shy around Samson? I mean, just because I have a sweatband doesn't mean I'm intimidating. I mean, the fact that I'm angry and can shoot very powerful tears once I kill a few enemies in a room is enough to make me intimidating. But I don't mind saying hi now and then. I'm very social. I mean, at least this bomb bag is following me around. He's a very good groupie of mine. That is, I don't really know if this is a bomb bag has feelings. It just seems to release the bombs autonomously. I just wish it had some emotion when it did that. Like, maybe give me a nice smile now and then. It's like, you've been so good to me, I'll give you two bombs this time. Or better yet, I might actually break the game engine and start to give you, let's say, Pyro instead. I don't want to go to the shop, it's not worthwhile. Whoa, nice deke right there. My best interest to take out those guys first. Whoa. Get them far away from me. Then go for the kill. There, that's perfect. Damn cop cars going right by my apartment. They're not looking for me, don't get nervous. That was a stupid hit on my part, by the way. Anyways, just a bunch of silkworm that shoot, no big deal. Yeah, just those guys. They're nothing special. I mean, all they do is shoot and look very obese. Let's go straight to the boss, and... You again! I already fought you like three floors ago! Where the hell are you back? And that, that guy's not doing anything! Oh, now he is. What the hell? How am I fighting this guy twice? I can't get the pony again, can I? No, I can't be, because I, I picked up the item, therefore it should not show up again. So instead I get an HP upgrade. Well, that was very unusual. To see Headless Horseman appear a second time in the same run. I never would have thought that would happen. Here we are! <laughs> I think we might have made Binding of Isaac history! Who knows, maybe this actually happened to someone else and this was documented on YouTube or some other video site like Dailymotion. Who knows? Just that i never seen it before! This is new to me! Okay, that guy's gotta go first. That's the biggest threat. Oh, 
some of these guys are a pain in the ass when they're in groups. Okay, I better go for the ones that can actively shoot me. Whoa, I thought I was gonna get hit there. That was too tight a squeeze. Now, let's see, should I go for judgment? It wouldn't hurt. I mean, he usually pays out now and then. Try not to put the bomb too close to him. That was very good. Come on, give me something good. Map or a compass. Or even the, uh, hab nuns have it. Oh. Bomb friend? Well, after a while, he'll be more useful. So why not I just take him along? I don't want him by himself in the caves. It's a pretty dangerous place, you know. Did I go here? I think I did, and that was the way to the shop. Or maybe it could be the library. I don't know. I can't really tell. So let's try this direction. Oh, I see some fire with a bunch of levers. There, take out their power source. And then they should be a bit easier to manage. Granted, they still have very high numbers. At least now they can't get emulated. Eh, pinky eye would probably be better. The chance to inflict poison damage, well, way more than getting red hearts that I'm likely not going to need. Besides, red hearts tend to have a propensity of dropping on their own. Just that right now, poison shots could be better. Like now, for instance, see? Had I not picked up Pinky Eye, I would have taken out that enemy much faster. There we go. Perfect. Give me another bomb. Okay, a bunch of flies. Well, they'll be, they'll be easy to manage. Provided I don't botch it. And bombs are key. Let's take it. Oh, it's the poop. Okay, I'll pick it up so I don't see it again and see what's in this poop. I was hoping there'd be money. That was a pretty bad item to find the poop. Hey, bump friend, why don't you take this money? Shall I? Want, want to? Give me something, no. The arcade? Anytime there's an arcade, there's a blood bank I like to play. That's it. Die now. Ooh, a nickel. Sorry, bum friend, but that's mine. Hmm, bum friend can actually be very good for blood banks. That is if I don't take the money for myself. Give me a key. Wow, thanks. Okay, that didn't really pay out as much as I'd like. Oh well. Ooh, two keys! I was hoping for a blood bag at that time. Maybe there's more red hearts? And if there aren't, then well, I'll just cut my losses and move on. I was kinda hoping to uh, get the blood bag, but okay, whatever. We'll save it for another time, I suppose. If only this pill was, like, full health, then I could have stayed there a bit longer. But I don't want to risk my soul hearts, I only got like two and a half. That's not really a lot to go on. Is my tier stat really that bad? I didn't think my tier stat be that bad. Hmm. Does that have anything to do with the spider web? I don't know. Whoa. Rusty key? Well, I don't know. Yeah, what the hell? Let's take it. I don't think poison damage is going to stack that high. Just as long as I keep circling around, <laughs> I have a very good chance of dodging every single time. There we 
go. That's one threat. Soon gonna take out the second. And there, there it is. Now what's this pill? Is it gonna be full health? Because I can really use it. Tears up! That's actually very good. That's just what I needed, actually. Hmm, not really a fan of these guys. Very durable. And they can shoot pretty far. Practically have to move every single time they do shoot. It's actually a very good strategy. Just keep moving. And let's see what this is. Polyphemus! So my terror stat's gonna go down again. However, the extra damage is gonna make it much worthwhile. Well, I was gonna get to that money, but bum friend won't let me. Give me a pill, though. I didn't pick this one up for... And that's tears down. Wow, that's gonna make things a little bit worse for me. Wow, this... Tear shooting is super slow. Good thing I didn't use that pill earlier. So I remember seeing this in Catacombs 1. And I skipped by it by mistake. Now I wish I skipped it again. Oh well, it's not like you could have just known in advance. Unless you had PhD and that oh, damn. Then again, oh my god! That was two bad hits on my part. Then again, if I had PhD, you wouldn't get bad pills. Well, this is tele pills. Let me take bombs or key instead. Let's focus on war. If my speed stat is pretty bad, at least I won't have to worry as long as these cover and the other corners are not cleared. Don't take away my cover! Okay, I can still go to the southeast. Oh no, war, don't do this. Man, my tears just go so slow. Okay, I can just hang around here. That pinking shear is the torso will take care of the rest. Beautiful. Okay, I didn't even get a single deal with the devil either. What up with that? I should do a little bit more exploring to see if I can find maybe a good stat upgrade. Like maybe some good pills. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't fly permanently. Just leave the pinky eye behind. It's not going to serve me anymore. The Polyphemus, despite shooting rather slowly, I'll still take out plenty of enemies in one hit. Then let's go through some of the weaker enemies to pass by into the other ones. What's this pill? Please be good. Bad trip! Let's not get to that again. I don't want to go back to that phase where I'm getting constant bad pill after bad pill after bad pill. We don't want to go back down that road. Not at this point. Especially not in Necropolis. The bad pills really sting more than ever. Anything good in here? Oh, it's just a bomb. There, I'll take it. In fact, I did take it. Nothing in the poop, sadly. Whoa. Now, if I can just make the greed heads fall real fast. Oh, shit! Wait, Bum Frank can actually take advantage of this. If he wants to. Can you take the money? Wait, you don't, you don't want this money? Oh, you just wait till the enemies are dead before you do anything. Because you're a bit of a pussbot, it seems. Or maybe you're just supervising me. And then you're gonna take your cut as soon as the enemies are gone. I'm gonna let that pass by and then go through. Okay, not really a fan of my success here. No, I mean, I'm not detecting success, what I mean to say. Just that I'm not getting the tears that I need to make it happen. The damage is okay, but I shoot so slow. Oh, wow, this is just what I needed. 
I don't really have a good speed stat either. Let me take out Greed, maybe bomb Frank and pay out. Temperance. Hmm. Let's see, maybe I could get lucky. I want at least 15 cents. Here, bum friend, you can take, uh, that. And give me a free bomb. But I don't want to go to the curse room. Instead, I want to use this to go to the shop, and, of course, since Greed was in the secret room, he can't be in the shop. If he is, I'm gonna be super sad. Wow, thanks. That made things a little fast. There we go. Take care of this guy. Now we can move on. What's in the shop that I can use? The map I could use. Well, the soul heart would have been good to grab in its own right. Just that I would like to see where I'm going. Especially in the late floors. Okay, I think that's enough for this particular floor. We gotta go to the next one. Hopefully it'll treat me better. Because now I'm broke. I'm low on health. I'm low on soul hearts. I just need a miracle to get by. And it's another necropolis. Great. You know what, bum end? Bum f Bum end? What? Oh, you're giving me the tears down pill? Bad bum friend! Bad bum friend! Not nice! You're not a good friend at all! Okay, there's the shop. Let's see what I could have gotten. Hans have it. Oh, that would have been so great with pinking shears. Let's see how far we can get here. Right now, it's not looking that stellar. These flies are swarming me! Okay, I think we got through it. Aw, oh, I would have liked to get that soul heart. Wait a minute. I can get that soul heart! It will require me to use my... Oh, come on. It will require me to use my pinking shears in a room that's not even a threat. But I think it was worthwhile, given the situation. But now, it's not looking great. Especially now. Oh, don't go by the rocks! Well, give me somewhat of an opening. Make the hearts a little bit more vulnerable. But these hearts are so smart! When they know a shot's coming their way, they're just gonna hide. And the masks obviously don't help. Because I'm too busy trying to dodge them. Stop moving, hearts. Just die now. It's gonna happen! Just let it be. Thank you. Come on, give me something good here. Whoa! -ho! Mom's knife and Polyphemus together. So Mom's knife, unfortunately, takes a while to charge. But whenever it hits something, look out. Mom's knife, Polyphemus, that's gonna be a very dangerous combination. The bad news is, I have to be very close to my target to do enough damage. So I have to hold it for a substantial period of time in order to get the most out of it. But, at least if enemies come in contact with Mom's Knife, even if I don't fire it, it's gonna hurt them. I mean, look at that, Mom's Knife stack with Polyphemus is very powerful. It's so devastating. I mean, look at that! I'm gonna tear these guys apart! Whoa! Not to mention Bloody Lust is going to stack up. Therefore adding more rage and more damage to more enemies I kill in a particular room. I 
just have to get my dodging up to snuff. Otherwise, I'm just going to do myself more harm than good. There's no sense going to the curse room. I just wish I could get a little bit more speed to move around. Otherwise, this run's going to take longer than I would like. Okay, enemies like these uh, fly clouds over here will require a good bit of charge for Mom's knife. Otherwise, I could find myself hurt by the bomb flies that get created. Or even the blast flies. Like that, see? That's what I just did. That blue fly almost cost me. Oh, great. Well, it's gonna take out the hearts in one hit. It's just a matter of actually reaching them. There. Okay. I think we're on the right path. I mean, we have to be. I mean, where else is there to go? Hitting these bomb leeches could be a bit difficult, too. The blast assist, not so much. Look at that. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Now I can finally get a tears up. Sadly, it's not a speed up, which I would have preferred a bit more. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. At least I'm gonna go through these bosses rather quickly, which I'm very happy about. Hmm. I think I'll go for the secret room path first. Oh. I almost got myself hit there by one of the easiest enemies in the whole damn world. Cuban meat will help me out if I put myself in a bad spot. Most of the time, at least. Not all the time. I think this room over here is making shears worthy. Or not! Transcendence is good, too. Nope, that's not a pill I want. Let's keep going to the left. Once again, Mom's life is being the star of the show. She only just got there, really. Though I don't really think it's a one-item effort. It really weighs down to Mom's life and Polyphemus working in conjunction with one another. It's just allowing me to tear these guys apart. I mean, how many hits is Satan gonna take then? Look at this! Man, I'm so overpowered. It's like, I can do heavy damage. I got a little bit of defense. I can fly. What more of a run could I want? Well, maybe an ample supply of keys, bombs, and money, but still. A compass would be awesome as well. Which can shorten my stays. Now, apparently that wasn't the right way, it seems. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow! I thought I was in the right spot to dodge. But I wasn't. Well, picking shears can still be used for extra damage. Oh my god! A third time! I never thought it possible! Wait, why am I getting a bandage? Technically, I'm not getting cubes of meat here. I think it's saying you only get, like, cubes of meat if you defeat four Harbingers, but I didn't! Headless Horsemen are Harbinger substitutes! But that's it! So I shouldn't unlock the bandage! But hey, I'm not gonna complain! Otherwise, the only way I can unlock the uh, bandage is if I just get Book of Revelations right away to guarantee my chances of Harbingers. Pretty much be my only option. Anything good in this secret room? I was only taking a little bit of money for, say, judgment. If it made an appearance. Oh, wow! I, like, had this horseman three times in a single run? That seems a little unprecedented. 
But if it gave me an unlockable item, like the bandage, well, I'm not gonna complain. Just a bit weird that it would show up like that. Come on, Judgment, pay me out. Give me a compass. Or an HP upgrade. What can I find in here? Uh, Book of Revelations. I'll take a free use. I'm still gonna roll with pinking shears for the extra damage. It's gonna be hard for pinking shears to actually legitimately work, or still work, even though I don't have a body anymore. How can there still be a torso? Free bomb, thanks. Come on, pay out. Pay out. Another HP upgrade. Where's the compass? Oh, mom's heart, I barely knew ye. Might as well use the pink shear for the extra damage. Look at that, I just whittled mom's heart down rather quickly. Look at that! Oh, that was a stupid hit. Okay, I'm really tempted to go to the cathedral due to the overpoweredness of my run. However, I am gonna stay true to my word. And this is Ah I figured. So, uh get the onk, that's a free life in case I die. Which I hope never happens. Um, yeah. What are the odds of me failing here? Well, at this rate, there's still a very good chance. If all I'm getting is damn bomb leeches. Damn it! There's a blue fly that probably screwed me over. I did that again. I'm not picking up the small rock. I don't need that much more damage. That was close, and apparently this is the dead end. So why don't we try east? Remember, if I pick up the small rock, I'll do more damage, but I'll be slowed down even further. And right now, I value speed. That was pretty close. I think it's the blue flies that are actually screwing me over, going after the bomb leeches. Just strafe. There! I thought I was gonna get hit there. What? What's this? Two of spades! Double my keys. I'll take it. Not that it matters. And this money doesn't matter either, so bum friend, take it. Maybe I'll drop something for me, and you don't. Ah, fine. I'll take that penny for myself. Okay, that was a good use of Mom's knife. While it was still in midair. I don't like my chances here in this particular room. I just had to get the bomb leeches on the side. That's the best way I'm going to survive here. Or do that. Here. Eh, half a heart. And apparently this is also the wrong way. So once again, I've exhausted every possible option going to the wrong ways first. I don't know how I manage to do that quite often, though. Come on, pay out. Not in half hearts, you fool. Oh, man. I thought I was going to dodge that attack, but I was wrong. Ha! Yeah, did you expect anything different? Did you actually think Loki would withstand the power of Polyphemus Mom's knife? I didn't think so, did you? That would have been something if, uh, Loki could have survived that. And even then, it just seems like a hollow victory for him. Really, my only issue is the bomb flies, not Loki. I have to keep my distance when I fire this off. Need a little bit of more range with this thing. If I had it, uh, 
I poison touch? Nah, I'm already overpowered. Oh, why not use this? Wow! <laughs> yeah, go after the bomb leech. Thank you. I expect myself to take a hit or two, but that's okay. Oh, picking shear is still my glory. Wow! Wait. What the hell? Did I glitch it? Um. I should have won here. No, don't tell me. That I won the battle too quickly. It should be over. I won. What the hell? It's not supposed to be like this. Um, hello? It's over. Is this a result of pinking shears? Oh man, I just got hosed right here. Hmm. Let's try this again. Only this time I got blue baby, unfortunately. But technically, this should still be a win for Samson. Okay, let's try not to win too fast. Like, I'll just let that foot go. There! I mean, that should still be a win for Samson, or is this gonna give that the win to Blue Baby? The bandage has appeared in the basement. This should not be happening. I should be getting Samson's item. It's strange that I'm not. I mean... What the hell happened? Should I actually do another Samson run on camera and beat Satan, or just do it off camera and just show what I won? I mean, what else is there to show? I mean, I, I've done it. I've done it at Samson, but for some reason the game wouldn't recognize it. I don't know, man. But in any case, I think we're done with the, uh, Shoal Saga. It's time to move on to the Cathedral Arc. In the next part, I'll do just that. See ya.